So people are curious, and here are the things that they are curious about. <laughs> He's almost. I'm dead. very prepared. <laughs> so a person whose name we lost track of because again preparation. Um, so I am terribly amused by the idea that there is a certain degree of narcissism in creating anything at all. That to do so is to say, I believe my idea is so good it will positively impact people's lives. Are you similarly amused by this idea that all creation is an act of narcissism? Do you disagree? Oh, man, I like that. <laughs> um, this comes from somebody who just <clears throat> posted something on their Instagram um, that was a reaction video to a video of myself, and the, the caption just says, me with a side of me. Um, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> There's definitely some focus internally there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, on your part. It is interesting. We've talked about this a few times in the office, the idea of a creation, being able to create something and say, this is so good that everyone else would benefit from having this. It It is. It does have a sense of self-focus, but it's interesting because it it's channeled through this sharing, and I feel like that's kind of where the balance is. Maybe the thought process isn't, this is so good, everyone else should have it. It's that this was good for me, and I want to share it. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. I think it's, I think it's whether or not the... It's what you do with your creativity once it is done, that if every single time you ever make anything, you immediately run to others to receive praise, then that might be like... A narcissistic act but I think that if you are if you are mindfully creating things with the intention of bringing joy and light to others and, cre and creating an experience f for them not for yourself but cr but creating experience that they can have that will be positive I think that I don't think that that would fall under the category of narcissism if you write a story under a pen name and mm. nobody knows it's you is that narcissistic I that's, it's a good question because it still could it can even if people don't know it's you by your name the the validity and legitimacy and fame that you get from it is still a feeling that you get to have so i'm not sure that that takes it out of mm, that's fair narcissism as i understand it though involves a lack of empathy maybe um what are your thoughts on that i i I tend to think that you can do a lot of creative work and not have it necessarily be narcissistic, which is kind of a disorder or I don't know if it's, it's a, a disorder, real, but, but it is a real thing. Like oh, there's it's definitely a, real, a real thing. There's a real diagnosis and, and it's people talk about narcissism kind of in a way that is not that diagnosis, but almost, um, but as like an adjective, narcissistic, yes. this, uh -huh. this thing, this Self -focused. action. Self-focused. This yeah. is, this is grandiose with my own focus. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, I've, I've, I did look it up a, a couple different ways before this, you know, video podcast. And, you know, they were, they were talking about it as self-love, but they were also talking about it as the lack of, of empathy or the lack of, you know, um, the ability to care about what other, other people are feeling and mm -hmm. thinking. Um, and I think those two things are slightly different. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. I agree. I think it's almost like, I feel like narcissism is a thing that we all kind of have, like almost close to ego, like how we all have ego, but aren't like necessarily egotistical. And I think, you know, narcissism isn't inherently a bad thing. Like it's like kind of the, like how self-centeredness isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, you see all those Instagram posts of like self-love, like, you know, you do this for you, bro, you know? And we're always talking about how creating things you create it for you because you can't really expect it to resonate with anybody. Right. It's like a whole it, how it. Yeah, it's a happy it accident lands. whether mm -hmm. or not that happens. Yeah, you create it for you so that you can feel the positive self actualization and you don't base your positive like feelings on the like the opinions and statements of others. Ex exactly. And yeah. that's where you can kind of get into the the pitfall of creating something to, to produce it, to like finish it and then like show it, you know, post it. How many numbers did it get, you know, or whatever, or what did people say about it? It's kind of like almost as if like the process of making the thing before finishing it is like what the what the beautiful what you want, you know, not that like it doesn't have to do with how you like look having made the thing, but just like the act of making the thing is what you enjoy and like engaging with your yourself, your thing that makes you feel like you're on freaking fire. Yeah, sense of accomplishment. I mean, we create a lot here. This is kind of what we do. And, you know, 
do we just tell ourselves that we do this to inspire other people to think bigger? But I, I mean, because I think we do inspire people and we see them create things that are kind of unlike what we create. And we like that. I'm not sure we're back in the corner going, no, talk about our thing, right? Like, <laughs> Could we do you know? a scene like that, though? Because that character, you played, <laughs> you played that character pretty well. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm, gl- I'm glad that inspired you. But, like, you know, let's talk about this. Uh-huh. Let's talk about this thing. I don't... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that... I think people have different motivations and I think honestly if we look critically at ourselves sometimes our own motivations shift right sometimes we do want a little bit of the pat on the back sometimes it's good to see your name in lights right mm-hmm. um and that that feels all right like and that's okay I'm not sure like Justin's to Justin's point you know there's a piece of that that I think is it's okay to go in there I, I don't think you necessarily want to live your life at everybody else's expense or ignoring the needs of those around you but it's okay to love yourself too, you know, maybe not just excessively. Is it also okay to love your own stuff that you create <laughs> almost excessively? I mean, here's a question. Does just like the act of create creation, do, does creativity, does like art draw narcissists? That like, do, do we associate it that way? with narcissism because you know at some point in everyone's life we have experienced some sort of overbearing uh creative who has tried to like make us do things mm-hmm. exactly their way and be an agent of their brain mm. Mm. And okay so so mm. somebody showcasing this expression just draws other people who also want to be able to showcase their expression yeah maybe mm-hmm. also art is what you bring to it so what you make isn't necessarily what I choose to see mm-hmm. because it's about me because mm-hmm. mm. it's about what I see in my experiences and my history, regardless of what your intent was. Mm-hmm. Right. I think that's an interesting conversation. I mean, I go back to our YouTube videos, Jared, you and I, and look for new nice comments almost every day. So this is a problem. I'll talk to my counselor about it. We'll we'll, we'll do some hypnotherapy and make some progress. There's a little dopamine there, yeah, uh-huh. for sure. <laughs> hypnotherapy. She's mad about witches, hey, uh, hey, witch hey, accusations. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs>